Prodigal Steve returns to Stardew Valley. How's it going, everybody? Last episode, we mostly did stuff around the farm, as uh, seems to be the norm lately. Seems like you're starting to get close to some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone that you're romantically interested, you got to give them one of my beautiful flower bouquets. I'm selling them now for a very fair price. If you want to start a family someday, this is the first step. Pierre, okay. So presumably then... Oh yeah, we've gotten to eight hearts with one of the potential uh, marriage candidates. That's something we'll, we'll come back to. Um, right now, I actually... This is later the same day that I recorded uh, Monday's episode. But I I took a break. Well, I, I recorded that one, that episode, Monday's episode. Then I recorded Tuesday's Darkest Dungeon. Then I had lunch. And while I was eating lunch, I watched an interview with the creator of Stardew Valley, who was at PAX this weekend. And the interview heavily featured the 1.1 update that is coming to Stardew Valley in approximately a month. There's a lot of big stuff happening in in this update that I'm super, super excited for. Um, including, but not limited to, new farm layouts. Which, unfortunately, can only be selected, to the best of my knowledge, when starting a new game. So... I'm of two minds at present. I think most of this episode is going to be talking about the future of the series. Uh, I love Stardew Valley. I still do. That's why I'm still playing it. Um, it is one of my favorite games of 2016. Even still. So I'm, I'm going to keep playing the game. But I want to experiment with the new stuff, obviously. But I don't want to abandon this farm. Like, we're a year into this already. Better than a year. I'm attached to this farm. I'm attached to this layout. To everything that we've done here. And I don't necessarily want to start that over. But I do want to look at... The new layouts. And I want to share that with you guys. In the event that, you know, you don't have the game yourself. Or you don't have time to play it. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I I literally just watched the trailer not long ago, so I'm, I'm still rattling this around in my head, and I'm kind of using this opportunity to, to think out loud and to maybe test the waters with uh, those of you who watch the series and see what you might be interested in. All right, let's actually just turn all of these cauliflower into seeds. So, on the one hand, like I've said, I want to see the new stuff. But on the other hand, I, I don't want to abandon this farm. But I won't have enough time to do both. Like, I won't be able to continue this farm and also start another playthrough with the, the 1.1 additions. Now, that being said... Not all of the 1.1 stuff is new farm exclusive. Like, there's going to be a ton of new buildings, um, new marriage candidates in uh, Shane and Emily. So, there's stuff that we could do with this farm. Like, some of the new content that we would be able to access with, uh, with our current farm. I think I'm actually going to snag some of our seeds our potato seeds we need 16 seeds or 18 seeds i think and pierre is closed today so i think i'm just gonna use these potatoes so i don't know i think i'm gonna mull it over for a while i have a, you know a month or so that's when he said he was aiming for the release is about a month from now and that was, you know, at the interview at PAX yesterday or today. I think yesterday was the last day of PAX, maybe. Um, 
So we, I have a little bit of time. So obviously this farm isn't going anywhere for at least another month. But in the meantime, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on, do I continue this farm? Do you want to see me start a brand new farm? It would be a lot of the same stuff over again is my main concern. Like, we'd be doing the community center stuff again, and establishing the farm again, and talking to the same villagers. And I'm not sure how many new events there are going to be. I know Shane and Emily are both going to have new events, but I don't know who else is going to have a new event, if anybody. So, I don't know. I think I'll, I'll look into it a little bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, I can bring you a seaweed, Willie. And then maybe make my decision... A little bit close to the 1.1 update. But definitely not on the table as an option at all is two concurrent series. I would love to do that. Have this farm keep going and also do a, a new farm. But I, I barely have time to do the stuff that I'm doing now. Let alone add a whole other series on top of this. Unless I would do... You know, one, like, alternate days, basically. Where one day is this farm, the next... So, like, Monday, for example, would be this. Then Wednesday would be the other playthrough. And then Friday would be this playthrough again. And then the next week would be reversed. But I don't think that's a good system. I think that would be more trouble than it's worth. And I think it would... It'd be too hard to keep people interested in disparate series that are separated by so much. Like, at best, you would have three days between episodes of the given playthrough you're interested in. I mean, maybe you would be interested in both as a viewer, but I think, I think that's asking too much of you as the viewers to care about two separate series that would be separated like that. So if I didn't have the time to do both videos, like both series, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm just not going to do it. And I don't have that kind of time right now, unfortunately. So I, I don't know. I really, really want to do the new stuff. Like, I'm so, so excited for the new stuff. Because I, I feel like the game is just coming out again. Like, I was so excited when I initially saw this game and I was watching some Let's Plays of it, and I have that same level of excitement again for this new content update, because it looks so, so good. There are, like, five new farm layouts, and each one is targeted to a different aspect. Like, there's a fishing layout, and a mining layout, and a foraging layout, and a combat layout. And I'm not sh I, I assume the other one is maybe a, like, farming layout. I'm not sure. I think those were the only ones that he mentioned exclusively. Uh, we can make some kegs, and I might as well. Um, and I want to try that stuff. Maybe... Like, I don't want to do just a one-off video for each layout, you know? Where it's like, oh hey, here's the fishing layout, let's take a look at that for two in-game days. Or, hey, here's a... the, f you know, foraging layout, let's take a look at that for two days, etc, etc. But I do want to experiment with that stuff, and I don't really want to do it... I mean, I do want to do it off-camera, because I'm gonna play it regardless, but I want to share that, that experience with you, the viewers, you know, those of you who are still invested in the series and who still feel a connection to this farm, and I don't know. I'm also torn, though, because if you have a connection to this farm, starting a new series would mean abandoning this, and I don't know how I feel about that. It's something that I'm going to put a lot of thought into moving forward, and I would love any feedback and opinions uh, from you guys the viewers, either here in the comments or on Twitter. And just, just, you know, let me know what side of the fence you fall on. Either, hey, no, it should stay the same. We've we've put a lot of work into this, this farm. We're invested in this. Keep it as is. Or, 
no, I want I want to see something new. Like the the series is getting a little stale. Let's and I don't personally think that the the series is stale necessarily. Um but maybe maybe you have a differing opinion than I do on that matter. And I would love to hear about that, honestly. Oh, we need iron barns as well. Okay. I think that would that would really help me out a ton moving forward and making this decision. As I know those of you who are still watching the series must feel passionately, or at least, you know, have some connection to this farm. Otherwise, you still wouldn't be here. And your, your input matters to me on all aspects of the channel, but especially in this, when it's it's something that could drastically change the entire future of the, the Let's Play. But I don't know, that's... I think probably I've beaten my point to death, and the moral of the story is I don't know what I'm going to do with the series moving forward, I am undecided, and any input I can get from you, the viewers, would be immensely helpful. And I think that's probably all the more I have to say on that matter, specifically. So let's talk about what's going on here. We're making a bunch of seeds, is what we're doing. Um... We have a little bit more wood now. Not a ton, but that's all right. We can always get some more. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Since we are at something of... Like, we are bereft of wood is our problem. We don't have a ton of it just lying around. What we do have a ton of are pine cones. There's no reason not to plant a ton of pine cones... Because we're not going to be making survival snacks, or tr Wait, what are they called? Uh, field snacks, there we go. Because any acorns or maple seeds we're, we get are going up into this section up there. I know I said that we should be making tappers. You know what? We can make tappers. We have a ton of copper. Let's do that. Let's get some tappers. So we might as well use those acorns to um, grow as much extra wood that we can then farm for as possible. Thankfully, tappers are fairly cheap um, resource-wise as compared to, like, kegs, which are wildly more expensive. Not so much from a single resource standpoint, but definitely from an overall resource standpoint. You know, needing oak resin plus iron, plus copper bars, plus clay, plus wood. So uh, That's a lot. We have a ton of these fully grown trees here. So we might as well chop these down because they're not really doing much for us otherwise. And we have 23 growing in now. And we have all the time in the world, basically, to let those grow. Since it is mid-spring now. They're going to grow through till winter. So, there's no reason not to uh, harvest what we can while we can. I'm really hoping this falls the correct direction. Oh, it did. Thank you. Alright. We have 95 wood. That's enough for two tappers. And I think, honestly, I'm just going to put them on oak trees, if at all possible. Uh, nope. There we go. Alright, so we're doing just, like, a lot of maintenance stuff today. And these... This row is oaks. These are maples. Maybe I do one of each? Because we could use maple syrup for... Um, bee houses. Which is also something that we need more of. Let's grab our copper ore here. Smelt more of this stuff up. Alright, it's 940. Let's go do some more uh, seed making real quick. And I guess harvest these, these common mushrooms while we're in here. And then we'll, uh, we'll call it a night on this first day. I know I could sell these things 
like these crops for money, but I think having the seeds honestly is going to be more important moving forward, so. All right, we only have enough for three more, but that's fine. Stone I'll hang on to, that can go in there. I don't know if we've replaced all of the fence yet, but I would rather have the stone on me just in case. I'll hang on to the... Oh, we can make one more tapper. Uh, but we'll do that in the morning. I'm just going to go lock the animals in and then head to bed, and then we'll sort the rest of the stuff out tomorrow. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff around the farm, I guess, in this episode as well. I did want to get into the mines relatively soon, but then I had the revelation about the 1.1 update, and that kind of sidetracked me, and now we're just doing farm stuff, which is fine. It's going to be, not this episode, but next episode, we can buy another Iridium Sprinkler, which, you know, we certainly have the money for it. All right, it's Pam's birthday, which is easy enough to, uh, ooh, we got magic crops again. Easy enough to find a gift that she loves. Oh, we got kale that's almost ready. A bunch of cauliflower over here that is absolutely ready. Potatoes that are ready. Okay, we're gonna have a ton of cauliflower seeds for next spring. Okay, well that's 19 plus another 24. Uh, so what'd that be, 30, 43? Am I doing that math right? Yes, I think so. Okay. So we need 43 seeds. We don't have enough time for cauliflower, unfortunately. Alright, well, we can do... That, anyway. How many, how many cauliflower seeds do we have? 36, we have 15 potato seeds. I do mostly just want to save these. So I think we'll just go buy, what did I say, 24 plus 19. Okay, that's definitely 43. We almost have enough cauliflower, but uh, there's no, we don't have enough time for that. Hmm. Well, we can just buy seeds today. I'm just on the fence about whether or not I'm going to sell any of these crops. All right, well, let's, regardless, water our tulips. Should not oop, forget about that. There we go. Because we definitely want to make uh, as much tulip honey as we can. All right, it's just one regular egg, one large egg, that's fine. get this mayo going. Uh, we do need to go see Pierre today, so I might as well, if I'm going to sell anything, I might as well sell it to him, as opposed to dropping it into the shipping container. Snag this. Good morning, ladies. All right, regular milk and regular milk. That's fine. Had a lot of days in a row where we got uh, large milk, so I don't feel slighted or anything by having couple of regular milk days. That's acceptable. All right, well, we can go... Let's go plant these uh, pine cones real quick. Is that like a hiccup? Um, I think we're probably okay on money so that I could just turn this stuff into seeds and feel okay about it. There we go. Okay. This is going to be a pain to chop down. Like, this is the worst system that I could use for, for planting those. Regardless, we can turn these uh, regular quality potatoes into seeds for sure. We don't have that many strawberry seeds. I should plant these 
in the greenhouse. That way we can start getting more seeds. Hmm. <laughs> it's something to consider for sure. Alright. You know, I'm just gonna put the stone away as well. Let's head to Pierre's. We definitely need some seeds today. I'm all, like, out of sorts now as far as planning goes because of the, uh, the whole 1.1 update. Hey, happy birthday, Pam. We also got an achievement for reaching a 10-star heart level, or 10-heart friendship level with, uh, with Pam. We are now best friends with Pam, guys. We've done it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll give this leak to George. Please. Just... There we go. Thank you. Misclicking, apparently. Alright. That, uh, that loading transition seemed a little long, and I thought we had an event there for a second. This is clearly not the case. We did the, yeah, we did the quest for Willy. All right, what's up, Pierre? You can have that stuff for sure, and that, and that, and that. <sighs> I guess we just take a bunch more potatoes, honestly. What did I say we needed, 43? All right, well. I guess we'll see if I was correct in my mathematics. Let's go talk to George real quick. It's Thursday. He should just be at home. He is indeed. What's up, Evelyn? I finally have... You told me your recipe already! Alright. Well, continue watching your program then, George. How good of friends are we? Oh, five hearts. That's pretty good. Ah. Man. Just all frazzled now today. It's probably going to be like the last thing I record. Which honestly is fine. I had wanted to do like one more video, but I think I'm going to I think I'm going to skip the darkest dungeon video that I was going to record and uh just get some other work done maybe. Not that any of you need to know that or care to know that. Okay. Pretty sure I counted right. Oh, I did it. Okay, beautiful. We're getting to the point where we're not going to be able to buy or plant seeds moving forward. Alright, now with the rest of the day, let's get some more tappers done, shall we? chop down some trees. We have plenty of copper bars, although we are out of copper now, so maybe I'll also head up to the quarry and do a little bit of mining up that way. We can always buy copper from Clint, but I don't feel good about doing that. It seems like a severe waste of money. Really wish that would have fallen the other direction. I'm not even sure that we can get to everything. But, alright, I guess that's going to be fine. Because I don't want to chop down any of these growing trees. I don't want to chop down these things, because they're, they're seeds. They can, uh, they can give us seeds for our artisan good farm. Which I still don't have a good name for that tree area up there. I know there's a name for those things, like, I just don't remember what it is. I really wish I could think of it. I should just Google it, because I've been trying to think of this for how long now, since I started planting that, I think, probably. Alright, well we have a ton more pine cones now that we might as well plant. And I'm still going to just keep doing this garbage system. 
because why not? Let's go ahead and take a walk through here, see if there's any artisan goods available for us. There's some maple syrup, which means we can make it a bee house as well. All right, how much wood did we... We have 104 plus like 40 in the... chest over there. So I'm just going to grab all of that. I definitely want to make the bee house. Just going to be an iron bar and some coal. And then tappers are just copper bars, which for some reason I put back in the chest. Because I, I love to backtrack. Oh, I should check the... Greenhouse. Did I do that yesterday? Or did I completely forget in my rant about um, the 1.1 update. Oh, yeah, I, I wasn't in here yesterday because we have two apples and pomegranates on the trees. Okay. Well, we have three seeds that we need to plant. I think it's just going to be more star fruit, honestly. All right, so we have more potatoes. Yeah, we have star fruit seeds already. So I'm going to turn these into seeds as well. And then a potato. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go plant these real quick before we do anything. Otherwise, I will absolutely forget. we got to do some inventory management here. Okay. And those are all watered. Beautiful. Okay. That's fine. I really should make more sprinklers for that greenhouse because I'm not using the space otherwise. Let's take that. This and that can go in there. Those two are definitely becoming seeds. This stuff's going to become seeds probably. Although we don't need that many beans. Realistically. Ooh, we got a ton of starfruit seeds. It's awesome. All right, corn for sure, because that's going to get planted come summer. Let's make another bee house real quick. How many tappers can we make? Just two? Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I guess there. And then maybe in this row? Beautiful. All right, let's go drop our bee house down. Man, we are in such a good place with this farm. Like, things are really starting to pick up. Let's put that wood back. Those mixed seeds can go back. I'll put the copper bars back. Just try and sort through some of this stuff, at least. The apples and the pomegranate is going to get sold. Alright. How many? We have 12 corn seeds. That's not a ton. How many beans? We have 21. Hmm. Well, next spring, we're going to need at least 20 for right here. 35 if we want to get all the way across just the top so I think that might be where we stop making beans is when we hit 35 that way I don't block out the fence on the bottom side I think I'll just plant them on the top it seems sensible to me I should do the same thing with corn but we can actually walk through corn so Well, once we hit at least 35, it'll probably be after this cycle. And we could sell the rest of this stuff. Or the rest of those beans, anyway. Ooh. Got mar uh, marshmallows, mushrooms, just sitting here. Okay. Wait for... No. Get a little bit closer so that I can actually grab those, those seeds. Yeah, alright. There's 38. That's plenty. So now we do some potatoes. 
many potato seeds do we have? We want a ton of potatoes because we're we're gonna need to replace them. And since we're probably not gonna have enough strawberries ever to plant a ton of those, we'll be mostly doing cauliflower and potatoes. And especially potatoes. So let's do that. While those are going, I'm gonna go uh, shut the animals in because I can assume that they've already headed in for the night. We're gonna have kale ready tomorrow. I'm gonna do a quick double check, make sure the fence is still holding up. We don't need to replace any of it. All right, so you ladies are inside, but you're not in bed yet. You're allegedly trying to sleep. Now you're going to bed, okay. That's fine, take your time. Might as well sell this mayo and cheese. I love that in the windows in the back, it looks like it's dark outside, but then you come out here and it's just now starting to get dark. I noticed that, I think, last episode as well, where it did that, even though it was still quite light outside. Cheese can get sold. These beans can get sold. That can get sold. Okay, beautiful. Let's head back in here, make some more seeds before we call it a night. Tons of potatoes. Like we how many potato seeds have we gone through this season? Like we bought we have 43 potato seeds in storage right now. We bought 43 potato seeds today alone. That's what, probably the third or fourth time? Third time that we've planted potatoes? Like, this season? So we're going to need a ton of seeds, because we're only getting more sprinklers moving forward. Like, the beginning of next episode, we're going to have another uh, sprinkler that's going to need seeds for it. We're going to have 24 more seeds to plant. Which is insane. Honestly, I'm, I was thinking about using the, what would it be, southwestern corner to maybe plant more crops. But now I'm like, that's not even remotely necessary. Yeah, all the all this stuff is just getting turned into, uh, into seeds now. This is fine. I'll finish out the cauliflower, at least, before I call it a night, and then I'll start a round of potatoes. There we go. I'll wait for these four, then I'll put four more potatoes in, and then I'll head to bed. Put them all in at the same time, though. Otherwise, we'll be here looping through this forever. Nope. There we go. Okay, let's put these seeds away. So many cauliflower seeds, I love it. We have 77, which is enough for three of these iridium sprinklers in their entirety. Plus a little extra. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about the 1.1 update and potentially restarting the series. And if you want to see more videos like that, especially with the, the series going forward, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.